Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. My name is Andrew coming to you from beautiful Costa Rica. Today's topic is going to be searching for something and not knowing what it is. Think about that for a minute. Guys, if you like the content, please like, subscribe, and share. So there was a period of time, maybe it wasn't that long ago for you, maybe it was years ago, but you were searching for something, you were searching for answers, and you didn't know what it was. You didn't know exactly what you were searching for. And then what happened is perhaps you typed into Google, wife won't talk to me, or you typed into YouTube, uh, strange behavior, things like that. And boom, lo and behold, you went down the rabbit hole. You discovered what narcissism was and or what toxic behavior specifically was. And then you put the pieces of the puzzle together. You had your first light bulb moment and you understood, oh my goodness, this is the relationship that I am in, or this is my sibling, or this is my neighbor. This is my boss, my coworker. This is the person I'm a member of the community with, whoever that that organization is because well, let's really dig into this when you're searching for something but you don't know what it is that's extremely difficult there's an expression in english uh, finding a needle in a haystack if you will it's an old school term but just understand what a haystack is it's a huge mountain of hay and you're looking for a tiny little thing which is a needle in that uh, mountain of haystack a haystack to, to find that is very rare it's very difficult now that's an expression, but I'm using that analogy for this video in the thumbnail, which is searching for something and you don't know what it is. That is exactly where you were for a period of time until you found channels like mine and many others. And again, thank you very much for being here. The point is, is you are a special breed of an individual. You are super strong if you're on the channel and you're getting this wisdom and you're getting the education. And I will tell you right now, it tells me that you are committed, you're driven, you're focused, you're determined, you want to become, become educated, awakened and aware, and you're resilient and you wanted to figure out exactly what was going on with this period of time when you were in the relationship or maybe you're still in it right now. And again, what did you do? You most likely took notes, maybe on a sheet of paper, I'm talking throughout the relationship, maybe on a sheet of paper of strange behaviors or of being gaslit or rage fits or whatever you did, you, you took notes. You certainly took mental notes. I can assure you of that. Maybe you took notes on your smartphone. Maybe you sent yourself emails to your, an email to yourself of strange behaviors or of things to document the happenings in this relationship, which turned out to be a narcissistic relationship or a toxic relationship overall. But you were searching for what was going on because Remember, when you are in the relationship, and my hope is that you've exited it and you're on the healing path and or you have healed, but if you're still in it or if you're looking to get out of it or recently you were discarded or recently it ended for you, what you were doing is you were trying to figure out what the heck was happening to you because each and every day it was like a roller coaster. One day maybe it was okay, the next day you experienced a rage fit, next day gaslighting, next day stonewalling, next day you endure a little bit of a smear campaign. The next day you got the silent treatment for days or weeks on end. Maybe you were ghosted. Maybe you experienced blame shifting. There are so many terms. There are so many definitions in the glossary of the narcissistic abusive catalog of the cycle itself that you needed to understand. And when you got your first light bulb moment, you knew that you were searching for something, but you didn't know what it was. Think about this for a minute. How many times did you come so close to actually understanding that you were in a narcissistic relationship. You were right there. You were it, you were one click of the mouse away from figuring it out, but yet you didn't do it. And this is not your fault. What that means is that you just weren't ready to receive the message. Now you are because here you are on my channel and many others, and you're getting the wisdom, you're sharing your experiences and insight with the community. You're learning, you're growing, and you're teaching if you can. And what, what this tells me again, is it is it's because you were in a toxic relationship think about it of all the relationships you've ever been in have you ever had to take notes about the relationship or an individual most likely no why because if you were in a relationship with an individual or individuals let's just say that what you would do is you would sit down and you would have that cup of coffee and you would have an intelligent conversation about the direction of the relationship and who is contributing and who 
could contribute more. In other words, you would share your experiences and insight with the other individual or individuals, if it's a family relationship, and you would just, you would say, okay, here's where we are, and I, I think that we should be doing. In other words, you would communicate. Now, when you're with a narcissist, is there communication? Uh, no, there's dictation, which means the narcissist most likely is dictating to you how you look, feel, act, think, behave, all these things. That's that's what they do. Remember, the narcissistic relationship is a one-way relationship to Destructionsville. It benefits the narcissist. It has never benefited you. Whether you thought it did even for a little bit, it didn't because the narcissist just wanted to crush you and take your resources from you all under the disguise and or guise of them being a kind, loving individual. We now know they're not. They just want to manipulate and control people. And once you get on the trail of understanding exactly what's going on with them, which is most likely was you in the past until you found my channel and many others, when you got close, you're like, oh my gosh, I think I'm getting... But then what would happen? Always something would happen, wouldn't it? Like you would just take a note and then perhaps the narcissist or this toxic individual turned on the charm. It's like they have a sixth sense. They're like, oh, something's going on here talking about you and the relationship. I better, I better give them a little breadcrumb of hope. They did and you're like, oh, it's not that bad. And you stop looking, you stop researching. You put it on the side and there goes another month, two months, year, three years. That's how this thing works. It's not until you actually really stay focused and you figure it out. You, you find that needle in the haystack, which again, as the thumbnail describes, is searching for something when you don't know what it is. When you get that first light bulb moment and you run across and or stumble upon, upon the word narcissism, you are changed forever. That is your very first step of exiting the narcissistic fog. Yes, most likely when, that, when you figured out that this individual was a narcissist, most likely you had a long road ahead of you. I'm talking very long. And for those of you who have already climbed to the mountaintop, the pinnacle of indifference, where you just don't care at all about the narcissist relationship, it's in the past, you're moving forward, you're living your, you're living your best life. For those of you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Drop comments below. It's not a easy pill to swallow. You have a mountain of work in front of you. You have so much work in front of you that, that you don't even realize it at times. But what did you do? You kept taking notes. You kept consuming videos. You, perhaps you started to see a therapist. Perhaps you were journaling. You were focusing more and more on understanding and getting the wisdom and the education about what this relationship was about. And lo and behold, after time, you put the pieces together. You had more and more light bulb moments. And yes, there were some very dark days. And yes, you had some dreams that perhaps were a little too graphic and or a little too real about the narcissist. It's the healing path. It's what happens. Having said that, you understood and or now understand that there's a spiritual side to this relationship. There's clearly a mental, physical, emotional, physical side, but there's a very deep spiritual side to it too. And it's a connection unlike any other connection you've ever had with another individual on this planet called Earth. I can assure you that that's why the goal, the purpose, the focus is once you get the wisdom, and this is now your, your new superpower, you need to go no contact, block the narcissist, remove all fly monkeys and people associated with the narcissist. And the more separation you have from the narcissist, the more your energy will return. In time, in your time, your energy will return. I can assure you. But getting back to the thumbnail, when you were searching for something but you didn't know what it is, what it was, that's a very difficult and trying period of time to go through. Why? Because you were isolated, you were alone. Maybe you were still in the relationship with the narcissist, but they weren't gonna give you any clues. They weren't gonna break it down for you and tell you who they are or what they're doing. No, remember, they wanted to keep you in the narcissistic fog. They wanted you to continue to work for them. They did not want you to figure out what was going on. They never have. They never did. They just wanted you in that zombie-like trance state, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, intellectually, where you would just be a pawn or a puppet for the narcissist. That's where the narcissist thrives. And remember, when you are working for the narcissist, as are many other people, because the narcissist doesn't only have one source of supply, but as you're working for them, what's happening? All of your resources are being depleted. Your finances, your health, your mental aptitude, your emotions, your friends, your circle, your job, everything. It's being crushed. You just didn't realize it. And what's the narcissist doing then? Exactly. They're getting your replacement. They're looking for a new supply, the new person that will provide all of the resources. And for the narcissist, their hope is this person has more resources than you at the very minimum that they don't know what narcissism is. 
and that this person is a brand new sheet of paper or a clean slate per se that the narcissist can abuse just like they abused you only quicker and they'll extract this new person's resources at a much faster rate that's exactly how the cycle works and again if you were discarded my heart goes out to you you really had to pick yourself up and dust yourself off and put a mountain of work into yourself and if you were discarded recently again my heart goes out to you you have a lot of work ahead of you god bless you i'm sending you a virtual hug stay on the path continue to stay focused on yourself you will get through this believe me you're gonna have to do a lot of work but you will do so and so when you're looking for something you don't know what it is it's it's virtually impossible but yet you did it you figured it out because you were committed and you were driven and you had the craving for the knowledge and you're one of a very rare breed i will tell you right now the reason why is because many people that are in narcissistic relationships they never get the education many people don't have the craving many people tolerate the narcissistic abuse many people don't have a smartphone phone or a computer many people just stay in that narcissistic fog the trance-like state where they just they're just existing they're not living they're existing but that's not you because you found the channel and my hope is you're sharing the education with others that could use this video and or other videos to insulate and or protect themselves from toxic narcissistic behavior keep in mind before i close the video out you're amazing you sincerely are because not only because you made it this far in the video but more importantly you discovered it you cracked the code of the narcissistic abusive cycle you cracked a code that not many people got to do many people tried many people failed but not you you succeeded you made it and here you are this is absolutely a superpower it sincerely is it's not saying hey good job you figured it out that's so no it's saying that you were determined you knew something was off base you knew something was wrong you knew you weren't being treated properly and that you were being gaslit and all the adjectives that I mentioned on the channel, but yet you've, you you wanted to figure it out. What, is it me? Was I wrong? Did I do something? I don't know. And then you figured out, no, it's actually not me. I'm an empath. I was a people pleaser, a yes person. I didn't know how to say no, et cetera. And this person who turned out to be the narcissist just kept on taking advantage of me and crushing my boundaries. And then again, what happened? You figured it out because you did not quit. Maybe you were up late at night searching on the internet for the solutions. Like, again, person won't talk to me. Um, ice cold, the relationship's hot, cold, things like that. Whatever you were looking for, I can assure you, you gained the wisdom from one of three ways. One, Google. Two, YouTube. Or one of your friends turned you on to my channel or another channel and said, hey, just take a look at this and see what you think. And then all of a sudden, boom, you're like, oh my gosh, this is my life. What's going on here? It's how it works. It's how it happens. And so what do you do with your newfound superpower? You insulate yourself and those trusted or loved ones around you. That's what you must do. It's your duty. It's your calling. It's how you will get through this. And it's how you will protect yourself going forward. So guys, that's the video. I hope you liked it. I loved doing it from beautiful Costa Rica. This is Andrew. Namaste. Have a great evening. Stay true. Stay blessed. Continue to become awakened and aware and understand that when you're searching for something and you don't know what it is, it is extremely difficult. Because how could you find something that you don't even know what you're looking for? But guess what? You did. And that's a beautiful thing. So I'm sending you a big virtual hug right now, letting you know you are so much stronger than you ever know. You are not alone. No matter where you are in the planet, you are not alone. God bless you. I love you. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Have a great evening. And understand this message. You really did solve the puzzle. You figured out who the narcissist was, and not many people got to do that. So God bless you. I love you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right. Bye.